Solid, solid team so far, so we'll see how that goes. Right, round two. Let's see what goes what, what goes down here. Prepare for battle. To victory! Not gonna lie, this is probably the worst thing with only having tier three units. When you do custom battles, you only have um your your warbands for normal sieges. So that's why all of the teams have to literally go through right click out all the blue tier crap that you don't want and then repopulate with tier four and tier five units. And by the looks of it, no beaches are gonna have a lot of I'm saying that they've only got two so far. But they've got more lower tier units than um plebs have. Clap a drog on these to be quick at the top though. So hero wise it looks like they've basically got the same. The attackers have got six sets of muskets out, so they're probably just going to try and bomb the beach at, breach at the A side. Both teams do have flames and falconetis. The defenders are starting, so Kicker Man U's got the flames from the beginning. They've got a set of shenjis out. No falconetis, interesting. Imagine, though, as a musket player who's got falconetis out, again, probably to get rid of breach A, because all of the muskets started at A. We'll see how this goes down. Again, I'll try getting into the air as quickly as possible because uh, Highlands Fjord kicks off instantly and goes in then. By October, if I didn't already say it, I think I just did, but thank you for following. Anybody else that's followed over the last year and a bit? Right. So we do have four guys, no, three guys in the background. It looks like they're just going to get the A gate down. The majority of the heroes that aren't muskets are going to kick that or chop down the gate at A. Muskets obviously are going to start bombing. Falconet is going to get rid of the breach very quickly. And Tixie, how are you doing? Plebs are built differently, Evil Mortis. Yeah, Plebs are fucking good, man. Like, they're... They're pretty disgusting. <laughs> um, having... Oh, it's only the Shenjis, though. They're very close. They've got, what, a couple of sets of Madao in the background here. Very close to the wall so they can't get trebbed. Um, they do have three, four guys over at B side as well, just to stop a quick push. They have grey hair in the breach. Interesting. So the breach is down, the gate's down at A. The B side gate is going to be down in a second. Obviously the gate was open anyway, so it takes like one little tap and then the door is gone. Let's see what no beaches can do. Anybody change massively any units? No. Madshin's still got his thing up. They've got rid of most of the muskets, though. So a lot of the guys that were playing musket are now playing pike. And it looks like No Beach is going to go for a straight-on assault, let's say, on the A side. I think the attackers just called in a treb at the B side gate. One's been... I didn't actually see any trebs coming in, but one's just been used, which is weird. That must have been like a graphical glitch because I didn't actually see anything going down there. Oh, so the flamers from... Ooh, that is dirty, man. And then the bombs as well from the Shenjins doing work. Shenjis, sorry, not Shenjins. Ooh, Falconetis, though. Shooting straight down onto this. Interesting. Interesting setup from both teams, I think. Plebs have got the... Uh... Ooh, them flames shooting this stuff from behind, but there's enough heroes from no beaches on those flames. There is a lot of units, though, from the attackers there as well. The Falconet is from the side here, but it just bombs straight up on top of them as well. The push coming in from no beaches straight onto the A point. They actually have the unit advantage now on A point, so no beaches might be able to get this. Obviously, the rotation from plebs is going to be very difficult to deal with. It looks like the flames are dead, though. I at least can't see any flames going off, and I think the Shenjis are dead. Oh, no, the Shenjis are still alive, the majority of them. So, is that Armagus or Cataphracts coming in? That is Cataphracts. And an Armagus. Two Cataphracts and one Armagus. Very well-timed from No Beach is there. I think they avoided the majority of the, the pikes here in the front as well. Both teams have dropped heroes. The attackers have dropped more. That could be an incredible Trev. Ooh. There we go. Now they're starting to land. One hits the bloody bonfire. Like, three of them hit the tent and the bonfire. That is... Bad RNG. <laughs> Very bad RNG. So you've got Ghost X in the background just being a pain as Spear. Uh, he's just been jumped. He's got off his horse. So I think Amy's just... He's, he's not for this world. He's going to be dead in a second. You've obviously got Dunkel with his Falcon. It is just completely bombing up the, the main avenue to A. Whew. Right. The defenders have lost a lot less units than the attackers have so far. 
They are slowly gaining control of the A point, though. There are obviously going to be respawners coming in from plebs now and a lot of reinforcements coming in from the B side resupply. They have at least two sets of cataphracts by the look of it. Fort Brachio is coming in slower. Cataphracts are just going to be with a two key. The hero is going to run through and they can try getting as much damage off as possible. One cavalry has actually gone around the flank to get a different angle off. Nicely done. So Amu was the guy with the cataphracts that comes straight across. I think it was maybe Manu that come from the side. I'm not entirely sure. There is actually a fight going on outside as well. Slider QT must have come out the B side gate. Didn't actually see that go down. Was paying attention on the main fight. Plebs have stabilized the A point and they are on the hunt now. They are literally making sure everyone gets outside here. You've got Assad of Babylon pulling back from Yavamul. And it looks like no beaches are going to reset for a new attack. Good shout to be fair. They've lost. 480 units to 350 of plebs. This is going to be an uphill battle already, boys. This is rough. Hero-wise, double. So 20 heroes kill. No, 20 heroes lost, sorry, for the attackers and 10 heroes lost for the defenders. <laughs> Eight trebs still left to go, though. There are still good units for both teams, so it's not over yet. It's just no beaches are going to be on an uphill struggle. For the rest of the fight. They're down heroes or down hero deaths. They're going to have longer respawns. They're down units. They still have 645 though. So probably enough for maybe two pushes. Like two. Ah, let's say a push and a half. The defenders look still look strong though. So Reb coming in. Not really doing too much. Pleb's just being on the ball and getting out of the way as soon as possible. Uh, defending very close to the breach just to, to reduce... Ooh, them jab signers getting in there is a bad idea, man. Them claymores are going to absolutely shred them. I don't I don't think they realised that the claymores were there, to be fair. But they've just been nuked. Big push coming on on the A side now, though. Cataphracts from, I think that's Skiz running around with the two ability just coming through. Doing work there. A lot of the guys from No Beaches have jumped into the back with a lot of cavalry to get rid of the specialists from Plebs. Very nicely done. I think the majority of their cav went round, actually. I think that was why uh, Skiz tried getting behind them. So, it initially looked like a lot of the units went through and did nothing for no beaches, but that was actually a very nice push. Both teams have dropped down to 12 heroes apiece. Amya's in the back here, though. Falconet is up for the attackers. If the defenders... So, Amya's probably going to try jumping on that in a second as well to get rid of those. Because if they're allowed to fire the whole time, that is going to be rough. Amya's got his berserkers as well, so those Falconets are dead. Yeah. Very nicely done from Amya there to flank around like that. The defenders have dropped... More heroes than the attackers have, though, and the attackers slowly seem to be taking control of the A point. But there are still a decent amount of units for both teams fighting around the A point. The B side, if like the bridge, is just being cleared by the defenders, and they managed to push off and not take any damage from the trebuchet. There are now palace guards and Modal coming in from the defenders' side. They only have to hold out for another minute. And the defenders have the hero advantage now. They do have the hero death advantage as well. So their respawn time is on the whole are going to be shorter than the attackers. They have more units left over by roughly 100 as well. So I think this is GG. Yeah. Yeah, 13 against 5. That was a very, very fast match again. <laughs> Plebs are ridiculous, man. That was absolutely mental. Their attack was extremely fast. And obviously just stopping them getting A or B. Very nicely done. So a lot of the trebs there just hitting the wall and being in a, ineffectual. I think the last two maybe hit and the plebs have just decided to sally out and uh, add insult to injury and start basically rubbing no beaches faces all over the all over the stony outcrop here. So they're even capping the resupplies out here. I thought maybe um Oh no, they did cap the resupply back down. That must have been slide QT when they come across here with his uh, cavalry towards the beginning of the match. The flank that I actually missed, to be fair. You got Tempo Shot just being safe, staying on the A point, and he's just basically said to his team, go out, go out and have fun, boys. <laughs> Very nicely done by Plebs, man. So the deaths is gonna be slightly skewed. Not massively though, but slightly skewed. Um kick a booming with the MVP as well for, for Plebs, man. 1 0, 15, and 109. 15 it's Kicker Amu with 9 hero kills and 11 assists, 125 units killed. Obviously the unit of Falconetti as well, full unit of Falconetti, 28 Shenjis as well. 
That is huge getting rid of those units. Getting rid of the specialist is always what you need. And Amya being on point, man. Looks like two, basically two sets of Shenjis and a set of Falcon A's. That alone is ridiculous. <laughs> and then when you think nine heroes killed, 11 assists and 125 units, that is absolutely glorious. Temple Shot being terrible as per usual, bottom of the team. Like the rest of his team just drags Temple Shot right to victory every single time. And I don't care what anyone says. That's the truth. <laughs> Uh, looking at this, I'm probably going to assume... Okay, I actually thought that Plebs won every engagement, but apparently they didn't. This second major one, No Beach, is actually won. But they took enough losses that by the time that Plebs were getting back in with their, their healed and re resupplied units, that it was GG, man. They just